This Farm News video is brought to you by Crystal Flash. What we have here is a Model 8040 Blueberry Harvester. Uh, we make these out in Linden, Washington. Just a little bit about the machine. We make a lot of different picking heads for these. Plants will go right through the machine here, and then this is a rotary shaking picking head that'll remove the fruit. Falls down onto your lower catcher plates where it goes into your conveyors on the right. The fruit is transported to the back of the machine. This is just a single drop machine. So you're not dropping the fruit multiple times to where the fruit would soften up. When the fruit comes off the belt, it goes through a cleaning. And so you'll be able to remove the sticks and leaves and twigs. Basically, you get that separated from the berries. The berries will drop into the lugs and then they're stacked here. You could stack them individually or you could palletize them so that you could take it off with a forklift and help reduce the labor. There's a lot of adjustments on the picking heads that we saw in the front. You could add weight to it to make it more aggressive. There's things you could do with the tension straps to make it spend more time per plant, essentially. Uh, and so if you're trying to clean up the plant at the end of the season, you'd set it up one way to be more aggressive. But if you want to pick really gentle at the beginning of the season, there's ways to set it up for that too, to where you're going to really reduce the amount of green or not ripe fruit that you're picking per pass. And so, yeah, we generally shoot for 10% less green fruit so that it makes it easier on the people in the packing shed when they're doing the sorting. 48 horsepower Kohler diesel engine. Um, what we like about these is that, you know, they're really, really quiet. So not a lot of noise, not a lot of heat coming from it. And, you know, really good on the fuel. On a machine like this, you're able to get about 17 hours of runtime out of a tank. For the last 10 years, we've had food grade hydraulic oil as an option. And then about five years ago, we just made it standard. And so, yeah, if you have an instance where you get a little bit of mist or you get something like that on the fruit, a lot of times that, if it's just real small, that fruit could be utilized in a process market versus having to be thrown out. What I really like about this machine is you really have these large flotation tires on this. So low ground compaction, uh, and so you're able to get into some fields that are really mucky that you wouldn't be able to pick otherwise. And so it'll go and you'd be surprised where we could take this machine to pick some blueberries. A lot, you'll see it in the state of Michigan. There's a lot of places here where there's some adverse picking conditions with peat and kind of boggy terrain, which happens to be sometimes the highest and best use of that particular piece of land is growing blueberries but you need a machine that's lightweight with um, large flotation tires to get through it. They like that the driver's centrally located where you could see what you're picking as it's coming into the plant. So you could really tell by looking behind you if I'm leaving too much fruit on the plant or if, hey, if I'm taking too much green off, you're gonna know right away. All the controls are right there and you're able to make kind of immediate change to how you're operating the machine to get the best possible product in the back. 